I, I would say not technically. It's funny because in England we say it like the French, who'd have thought? Wait, you mean like croissant? How do, wait, how do you guys say it? Croissant? And so it's like un, un croissant? Yeah. So you don't say it with the R, you say it with a W? I hate that. <laughs> Bro, follow me back? You don't work here anymore! <laughs> no! Dude, there's like there are some people that we still don't follow. <laughs> some staff members. Uh oh no, okay. What do we want to do today, chat? Um Guess we're leaving the system. That's all I know. Oh my god, my gas is so tiny. How do I get that better? Yikes. Oh, oh I found some gas. Well, that's good at least. Nice. Not enough. Oh, wait, it was. Okay, cool. Um, What do we have to do? So that was the Cerberus stuff. What's here? I mean, sure, I'll get a Prothean Artifact. I just don't want to do any of the main quests right now. It feels too early. I don't want any of my babies to die. Oh, shit! No, this is the Javik quest. Um, Do I want to do it this early? It feels kind of early for Javik, but, like, it's here. Hi, Leotard. Happy Friday. How are you? Okay. I don't need that yet. Nice. What? Oh. Okay. Cool. What did I get? Are they in data files? Oh my god. Uh, okay. Um... Do I chat? Should I do it? It feels early, but like, I'm already here. Wait, wait, hold on. Is it a priority mission? I, uh, do it? Yeah, why not? I don't think it like does anything to the story, like by finding him later, you know, might as well have him there. Uh. It's not a priority, okay. Oh, Liara has to come with, okay. I think- I feel like it is. Not that it matters, though. Oh. Oh, wait, Liara- can Liara? Oh, it is these two. Okay, cool. Hi, Luke. Oh, because it was DLC, it's- I figured it was still a priority. Liara want that Prothean D? I can't say I blame her. I would totally ship Liara with Javik if he wasn't such a dick. You know what I'm saying? Um... This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. Oh, hi, babe. I remember the reports. I was it's so cute. my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. I love them so much. It's gonna hurt my soul so deeply when I play it again and do a Thane romance. It will hurt my fucking soul. Like, I'm, I'm really excited to romance Thane, but at the same time, like... I am not prepared for the heartache that I am going to get seeing Gears with someone else. It's going to hurt me so fucking bad. Oh my god. Uh. Sometimes I find it hard to believe you were ever in CSEC. I wanted to help people, fortunately. 
He showed me how to use the direct approach. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. Yikes. Hi, scripted. Get the self-care ready. I know, I'm gonna have to be stress eating the whole time, probably, and crying. There's a way to keep Garrus single. <gasps> no, I wouldn't do that, though. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Have the pillow, three boxes of tissues, and some chocolate, and a blanket. Oh, very good idea. Hi, Brian. How are you? I mean, y'all yeah, have to have many comforts near me. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever Liara is, looks it's so good. Than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the like, deep side as I can. Oh my gosh. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. I'm glad you're not that ruthless. Not yet. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I couldn't kill her. And I want to see the new content. I'm just not ready for it to hurt me. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. It survived, Sarah. It can survive this. They rebuilt Mendoir. It wasn't the same. It never is. Oh, that's my background. I'm from Mindwar. The character models really do look fabulous. Bits of Prothean text sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and. Uh, you were joking. A bit, but at least you're catching on these days. Um, we've taken more able bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increase food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. And if these families knew they'd never get to see their sons or daughters again, they're there's no way they'd cooperate. Don't remember this part. What the f a processing update? The Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Hold on. So is this what I'm doing? No, it is. See, it is a priority. I know my shit, chat. I remember. Pepperidge Farm members. Yeah, but Liara, why haven't you tried to dig up a dinosaur? Exactly. I would. You're good? Well, that's good. Happy Friday. Or should I say fry yay? That was dumb. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> no, Mary! <laughs> why would you clip that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No one watch it. There can be no evidence. Hi Mike. Pepper Goose does remember. You changed your username color. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. What? It's not a Prothean artifact. It's a Prothean. Like the collectors or those bodies we found back on Ilos. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. 
think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join Uplifted. The galactic community. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. Interspecies cooperation? Liara! Yikes. They had an empire that spanned the entire galaxy. It's unlikely they did that just by playing nice. Of course. They must have had an impressive military as well. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. You should call it that too. Call it what? Wait, what did I say? Um. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. I see that, babe. Thanks. It's not just trying to fuck aliens, it's interspecies cooperation. Yeah, that's all it is. I'm just trying to cooperate with the aliens, you know? Uplifted, right? That's a cute way of saying conquered militarily. Yeah. I just don't think she realized it, though. You know what I mean? Like, does she just not realize that they had slaves? Oh. I don't really know where I'm going, to be honest. Um, local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Great. Why would they just be sending out these public emails? Hey, don't tell the colonists that we're understaffed. Oh my God, because if they found out, it would be so bad. Oh my God, that scared me. Oop, that's not the one I wanted. I want that. Okay. Not like they were known as the Protean Empire or anything. I think she herself says their empire spanned the known gap. Yeah, exactly. She should kind of realize that, like, you know what that means, right? Oh, I shot the dead body. Am I Liam? <laughs> Sorry. Footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Okay, hold on. I also I feel like I annoy people. Like if you're watching this, you're like, why is it why is she going so slow? Why isn't she running? And the answer is I just feel like Shepard exhausts herself so fast that Protheans are just 1800s British in space. They kind of are though. I don't know why they didn't give them a British accent. That would have been perfect. Ooh. My eyes do be looking cool. Oh! Turn to dark space, then we will rise a million strong for the empire. For the empire, 
get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. Mm. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. With our guns, smile. No, that's not true. Roman Empire 2 right down to the collapse from within? I, I suppose, but I don't know what the ancient Romans accent would have been. That's why British is much safer, because we know that they fucking conquered shit, so. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. And they all just happened to be wearing their armor and their masks while they were drinking coffee? Hmm. And watching a game? Were they watching a Blasto movie? Oh no, they were watching Sanctuary shit. Ew. Well. This is a weird kind of open concept though. Like there's a bedroom, there's two, two beds in here. And then immediately another bed in here. How are these people sleeping? Imagine if ancient Protheans popped up and just went, blimey, that was a long nap. But what if it was an Australian accent? I think that would have been so much funnier if it was an Australian accent and he just called everyone a cunt. <laughs> That's my new headcanon. Can we get someone to revoice over Javik? Who threw that? Wow, imagine having to hack. Oh, hello. Send an Aussie as ambassador if we ever meet aliens. Is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Mm hmm I second that. Seas Reapers, blimey. What's all this, then? <laughs> it would be funny, and you guys know it. It would be fucking hilarious. Beep boop beep. Beep beep. I feel like I glossed over that. The fact that Javik has, like, something similar to biotics. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Third of our people. Our 
Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. You understood that one too? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. <sighs> Do we? Nope. Backup forces are here. I love how that guy was trying to set a tur set up a turret literally right smack in the Liara? Oh my god. Right smack in the middle of the battlefield that we had going on. Just right smack in the no cover, no nothing, just gets his little briefcase out. And is like, alright, time to set up this little bad boy. It's like, sir. Torb mains, I mean for real though. Ow. Wait, uh, let's get rid of is that still turret? Which speaking of, I played almost three hours of Overwatch last night. The uh the new um not new, but Junker Watch. Or Junker Town? Junker Town, Junker Watch. Um oh, sorry. Um and I feel like, because I was playing it with my friend Taylor, who she has it on PlayStation, and um, she was saying she was like, it's basically a Halloween tradition to like queue up and turn your brain off and play like a couple hours of Junker Town. You know, like it's how you gotta. When Halloween comes around, it's basically a requirement. We have to find another way across. Oh, isn't there like a ladder or something that I get down? Oh, yeah, I just literally jumped down. Um, wait, I think I've- oh, shit, too late. I was like, I think I missed some things, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really fun. It was super mind-numbing, though. Which is fine. It sucks, though, because, like, easy is too easy, but, like, hard is, like, almost too hard? I don't know. Oh, hello- oh, do I have to, like, shepherd this woman? Excuse me, excuse me. Just making her jump over everything. Yikes. Sorry, babe. All right. Let's go. I, I just want to run. And she just decides to do a barrel roll, you know? If she wants to get the exercise in, then you know what? More power to her. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Okay. It's okay, babe. We're gonna we're gonna fuck them the fuck up. Wait, is Garrus? He's not using his sniper. For the love of God. Hello? Anybody here? Oh wait, I was in here already, wasn't I? Oh, excuse me, Gabriel. Looks like we got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. I'm taking a picture for really quick. She looks really cute. Oh, look at that little face. She's so cute. Sorry. Is this like a good picture? Not really, but am I taking it anyway? Like, fuck yeah. Why are the filters always bad, too? You know what I mean? Like, that's not even a good filter. Fucking hell, that was bright. They're all- like, they're so bad! I just don't... I don't understand. How can your filters be so fucking bad? Okay. Sorry, I'm done now. Oh, excuse me, guys. Has the life pod 
end in stasis mode. We're almost there. Okay, how do you know, Liara? Fly cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Wait, where is this? Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh! Oh shit. Alright. Uh oh. Ow. Oh my god, that barely did anything to my health. I love that. Oh god, okay. Oh, sir? Can't be there. Uh, hello? I heard someone. Where are they? Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Uh, game. There's a supply cache nearby. If you want translation, stock up on your damn ammo right now because you're gonna need it. But I don't. <laughs> Where are they? Care Bear, is there one hiding in here with you? Oh my god, Jesus. F Who did that? There. You can open the life pod now. How did this guy die? He was around a corner. Garrus, how did you do that? Terrifying. This man can shoot through walls. He's hacking. All right, let's go. Oh, hello. There we go. Garrus has hacks, he does. There, you've got it. Got it. Hi. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Okay. So we're just gonna stare at him until he does. Ow. Hi Lilith, how does it feel to date a hacker? Pretty good. That means he can get me so much dollar to, dollar dues. Yeah, it took him five seconds and he knocked me on my ass. Be careful, he's confused. Bro, calm the fuck down. For him, it's only been Don't touch him. Oh. No. The bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life pod now. The f I will say the face mapping for the Protheans is so good. Like the way that he like snarls his lip. It's like perfect. Like it's per like, it's amazing. But now he also always seems irritated. The bunker is secure. Commander Jaffic. What is left of it? A few hundred people. How am I to rebuild an empire from that? Further adjustments may be necessary. Clarify. Sensors are damaged. Automated reactivation is not an option. You will remain in stasis until a new culture discovers this bunker. This may lead to a power shortage. Do not shut off more pods. I need the few that are left. Power needs will be triaged appropriately. You will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. Yikers. Yeah, that was <laughs> Oh man, I'd be fucking pissed. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing 
Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. I just, the only thing I, that pisses me off is that they all, like... I assume it's my translator, but just the fact that he still calls them Asari and Turian and Reaper, it's like... That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Okay. Bye. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. That doesn't sound good. Wait, I guess E, but still. I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. About Why not? Doctor, contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. It's okay. He looks like he's just vibing. But why do we have to like have him like chained up like oh don't like that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that face it's like i will kill you and it won't be in your sleep it'll be in your face in two seconds i mean I I don't know, like, obviously I've played this game before, so like, I know that he's probably like, mm, well, I don't really know. Like, can we trust him? I don't feel like you can. Like, I don't think he needs to be treated like this, like, I don't think he needs to be treated as hostile, but I don't think we would just like give him free reign, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's definitely like a line there between, hey, you can be in here under supervision, but like they don't have to be right up in his business. Like what if they were like at the door or something like, you know, like, I don't know. I... We've never met one before. <sighs> Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Should we be worried? That depends on you. I hate that lighting. Oh shit. I can sense fear in you, anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. Of course they are. What do you mean you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Now he's got to wash his hands because I'm dirty. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Do you think Liara is jealous? Yes. Why won't Javik touch me? <laughs> oh my god. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction, our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? We it's tried to. Commander, and nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. 
I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. Wait, do I know about the Catalyst yet? I can't remember if we've actually gotten to that part of the story yet. <laughs> there were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the Liar is jealous. Demanding blood be spilled for the Imagine if you did bang, can you still transfer like memories that way? High voltage. Caden, yeah, I'm romancing Caden, 100%. Bye. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't feel like I know that yet. Which, like, is, like, I personally know, like, about the Catalyst, but I was just suddenly like, wait a second, I feel like we haven't gone over that yet. <laughs> Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. Did we? It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? I don't remember that either. <laughs> no, it contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? He do be a dick, though. He can transfer memories from Touch and Asari can learn from their melding that they do... They could do the mind melding fucking thing and just learn nearly everything about each other. They could. See, wouldn't that be, I mean, you know, that's why I kind of ship them. I feel like they would, they would get along very well. Well, maybe, except Javik is a fucking dick. Well, right now he is. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. Plot encouraged fucking. That's very useful. We nice. evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects. Excuse me. Touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name Telekinetic is... sex, yeah, pretty much. If you were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. Yikes. What was your civilization like before the Reaper? Was that traumatic for you, bud? <laughs> we were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. 
My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Protheon. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. Yaliara. By necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite oh boy. a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. Hi, Stu. Liara pretends to know about Protheans like Garrus knows about flirting. <laughs> Liara doesn't pretend, though. She can only know what she's been told, though. You know? Like... You have to assume that what you read from books that you deem, like, correct? Like, you have to assume that, like, what you're reading is fact, at least to, to everyone's ability, or, like, the best theories. Like, I don't know. I think she tries her best, whereas Garrus just doesn't know. <laughs> Garrus could find out very easily, and Garrus just doesn't know. <laughs> Which is fine. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Hmm. What's wrong with having an African voice actor for an ancient alien? I mean, isn't it like an, a thing where like civilized like humans first came from Africa? Um, do you know if you can have a poly relationship with everyone in Mass Effect or do they break up with you? You can't. So you can, yeah, they'll like, you can kind of like, but it's seen as like messing around, you know, like if you like try to like flirt with like a bunch of like different people, um, like you can, but it won't let you like stay with them. I don't know if they'll break up with you though. Like I haven't, like, you know what I mean? Like I haven't gotten to that point, like, cause I would never, <laughs> um, but I, I know they call you out at least. Um, Mass Effect and Dragon Age 4 better have poly relationships. I mean, I don't particularly care. I mean, like, like it. it's hard because I am, like, monogamous and I'm straight. Like, I only want to be with one person and I'm straight. So, like, video games and relationships like that are tailored toward me. So I feel like I can't speak too much. But the only thing I'll say is that, like, I know how fucking hard that would be. Like... 
to do for a game of this size to program in multiple poly relationships. Like that would be so hard because you would need so much like it, it would be chaos. But like unless it was one of those where they didn't care, you know, like if it was one of those where like none of the characters cared if you were sleeping with other characters, I think that would be different. But I, I don't know. I think I just think it'd be really hard to program if like, but I guess I'm not as like, I guess not all poly relationships would end in like a threesome or foursome or whatever the fuck, because like that would be really hard to program. But I have not played Fable 2. You could have had Garrus and Thane. I know, right? Imagine. Imagine a poly relationship with Edie and Legion. Joker would have a field day. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusama. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. Aww. Kind of was born. Let's use Mass Effect to push progressive lifestyles. I mean, if you're being serious, then sure, but if you're trolling, then we're gonna have to have a deep conversation as to why that's not cool. It would be super difficult. Hi, Sharky. Some might even say to create a Mass Effect. Okay. <laughs> Mass Effect 5 better have an archaeology archeo feature that lets you study pre-Prothean civilizations. This is the one thing that really pisses me off about this part in particular. Not pisses me off, but it's just like irritating because I'm like, I want to know more about the Protheans, but they don't tell us very much. And now there's the, what is it, the Inusanon or whatever he said? Now we know that they existed. What the fuck did they look like, you know? Oh, man. All right. Bye. I am not here for that. Goodbye. You don't like my nose ring? You can suck my dick. Goodbye. Okay, sorry. Feel like Goose would choose Garrus and Caden? I fucking would not. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caden hugged a nuke, so I would definitely pick Garrus and Thane. I'm no, I'm too monogamous to be totally honest. Like, I would totally just like, I would just pick one. <laughs> I can't help it. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system. Planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Gotta program multiple relationships and every possible variation. Yeah, different dialogue options, cutscenes, missions. The file size would be so big. It would be massive. Who said have Thane and Garrus fight to the death for her while she watched in a snuggie drinking wine? Mm, no, pro I wouldn't have them fight. I would definitely both have them kneeling at my feet though and like feeding me grapes or something. I wouldn't want either of them to die. Your own cycle lost the war. Oh yeah, not a fight to the death, sorry, but I would have them fight. <laughs> All races conform to one doctrine. Oh my god, that would be actually really hot. Thane is super agile and Garrus is just really good at combat. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Sorry. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Great. Just beat up so she can see them both hot and sweaty. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, hot and sweaty and competing for my attention. What's wrong with that? I think that was all of them. Talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? 
To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Don't break anything, please. <sighs> they have to fight naked? I wouldn't want them to fight naked, then there's nothing to take off afterward. Will you be writing a new fanfic about Garrus and Thane Polly? No. <laughs> I haven't written a fanfic in a while, actually. We are so thick it's unfair. Chat, you are fucking down bad today. What the fuck? Wait, does he not have a bed? Did we really just give him, like, some sleeping bags? Javik, where's your bed? So much has been lost. So much has changed. And yet the Reapers are still here. True. Every day, that's true, not just today, you're right. <laughs> Every day. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Ah, oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra light harmonic phase power cells. Mm -hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Oh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are, Kenneth. <laughs> I wish I were a wall. <laughs> you pretty much are, Kenneth. <laughs> that is such a good burn, though. That's so funny. <sighs> I, I do encourage this behavior. You'll always be horny for Space Wife. There's nothing wrong with that. These two might be the best background characters in the entire series. Honestly, you're not wrong. Like, that's fucking funny. Like, that was a good one. The last fanfic that Goose wrote was about Nick Valentine crossing over to Destiny and having a steamy threesome with Kate Six and Marasov. I didn't write that, but whoever did deserves, uh, like, a Nobel Peace Prize. Wait, where the fuck? Oh, he's over here. Can I talk to him while he's over here? Hi, Cortez. Okay the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any RR? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well. Too much time to think. Oh. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. Thank you. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. Am I hitting on him? I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. Aww. Maybe. Maybe. So one of my favorite small additions to 3 is the way the characters move around. That is really interesting. I like it a lot. Hi, Mothman. Uh, I've never seen your stream before. We have the same taste in games based on your profile. Huh, that's awesome. How many times have you played Mass Effect? This is my second time. So, not I've only played it through all the way through once. Um, the goal of this playthrough was to play it, like, with hindsight. So, knowing what my choices did. So, like, this time around, I saved the council. Which, looking back on it, was that the right choice? I don't know. But, like... I just changed around a couple things, but it was mostly because I wanted to see, like, I played it the first time September of last year, and I plowed through that shit. I think I did it, it was like, I played it from September, and I finished it in December, like, the whole trilogy. Um, and, like, I just wanted to see my characters, like, the same ones again, like, just in, like, high definition, you know? 
So that's why this playthrough is mostly the same as my first one. But it's just like, I just love, like, this is my Shepherd. Like, I love her so fucking much. And I love Gare Bear or Garrus. Um, so just to like see them engaging again, like in HD, like, oh, my fucking heart. Just read a lovely article about how some of the developers who worked on Metroid Dead aren't getting credit. Oh, that sucks. This game has a lot of replay value. It really does. Like, I'm going to play it again after this and do a Thane romance because, like, he's obviously adorable. Um, But it's going to hurt my heart so bad because I'm going to be sad not being with Garrus. But saving the council felt nice until they were dicks. I know, right? It was like, well, I did a, I did a nice thing. Oh, wait, but they're assholes. <laughs> So, I don't know. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. It's a, it's a rule now. Why am I, do you see how fucking close I was to him? I was like right fucking here. Girl, playing Mass Effect is like returning to a loving home. It really is. Saved your lives, we still don't believe you. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> I still can't believe it. A real live Prothean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. You could say that. I hear the guy's not all there. Exactly. Damn. I can't imagine. Brought forward 50,000 years. Last of your kind. That's bound to screw with your mind. Yeah. Well, here's hoping he can help us with the Reapers. Guess we'll find out. Um. Northeast American, no. And I'm also not California. Californian? I'm dead center. Actually, I have a tattoo. Do you want to guess again or do you want me to show you? <laughs> I have a tattoo on my wrist. A world without Thane makes me feel ill. But I'm... Just... I don't get it. world without makes me feel... Colorado, no. More central than that. I am northern, though. How about uh, my state shares a border with Canada? He's terminally ill. Oh, I get it now. Sorry. I was like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now I feel dumb. I'm sorry. Minnesota, yeah, good job. Ba ba ba. Oh wait, here, there it is. Uh, spelled it. You spelled it wrong, but it's okay. We don't judge here. I knew what you meant. Um, I don't think there's anyone else here that we need to talk to, so let's go here. And as a giant Packers fan, shut the fuck up. I am not. <laughs> that is the opposite of the truth. I fucking hate the Packers. You don't have a strong Minnesota accent. That would totally have given it away. I could start saying like Minnesota things like, oh, or you betcha. Or, um, oh, for cute. That's a Minnesota one. Um, hot dish. What else do we say here? Uh, a boot. Yeah, that's right. I've seen a lot of crazy things in my time on the Normandy, Shepard. A talking Reaper, a talking plant, and now a real live talking Prothean. Hell of a thing. Waking up to find everything you know is destroyed. But. I imagine the chance to get some payback is consolation. Doubt you and I will ever get a second chance against the Reapers. Or, <laughs> gonna develop a mod that puts a cheese head on Garrison Thane's stuff. <laughs> um, oh my god, wait, 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 hold on. I'm trying to think of if they were actually, like, here in the States, right? And they knew what uh, football was, American football. What teams would they cheer for? I feel like Garrus would cheer for the Patriots. Because he's a Patriot. And he likes to win. Um, oh, but they don't have Brady anymore. But the Patriots always fucking win. Um, and I don't know why, but Thane gives me New Orleans vibes. Like, I feel like he would cheer for the Saints. People in Minnesota eat poutine? No, that's definitely... Well, I mean, okay, we have poutine here. Um, oh, Liars this way. Um, but not, like, in Canada. 
It's so good, though. It's so good. Gary's feels like a Buccaneers fan. I don't know. Oh, wait. Is this not it? Oh, is he talking about this terminal? Oh, okay. Prothean notes 21... Oh, 2186 entry 1. The thing this Prothean must have seen, if they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. Excuse me. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? Why is she letting me read her notes? <laughs> Udina is a piece of crap, so he would be a Jaguars fan. <laughs> See, uh... I feel like Anderson would be a Packers fan, though. I don't know why him and Kaylee just seem like Packers fans. I don't know why. Um... I don't know. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd? There's so much he could tell us. I can see it too. The new Viking Stadium is dope. It is really cool. As a Giants fan, I hate the Vikings because they've given us some really bad memories. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> see, for me, well, I hate the Packers just on principle. Um, but I hate the Saints. And I hate... Um, oh god, what was that other one? Oh no, I think it's just the Saints. Yeah, because the Saints, I will never forget that game in 2008, chat. We were in the playoffs, or whatever it was, the game before the Super Bowl. And this, we had Brett Favre at the time. And the Saints put out a fucking bounty on our players. They didn't need to win... They just wanted to hurt as many of our players as possible. I will forever hate them. So fuck you, Saints fans. Uh, Rex would be a Steelers fan. I can see that. Yeah. Do you hate Blair Walsh? I don't hate him, but I will forever remember that uh, game against the Seahawks. Liara would be a Broncos fan. Would she? Would Liara be a Broncos fan? I feel like since Peyton Manning left, she wouldn't be a Broncos fan. Oh, but this is like in 2186, so he's probably not alive. <laughs> uh, Bounty Gate, yeah, that. 2008, we're gonna we're going back to ancient history. Uh, a Vikings fan never forgets. Never forgets. <laughs> You're a Washington native. Oh, yikes! The bounty on injured player is a new Dina move, <laughs> so he probably cheers for the Saints. <laughs> Sorry to all of you watching this that have no idea what American football is. Now you know. <laughs> That's funny. I was just there. Chat, for those of you that weren't in the beginning of stream, I got new shoes today. Ugh, hold on. My leg doesn't bend like that. Wow. Wow, look at them. They are very soft. It's like wool on the outside. They're called Allbirds. Highly recommend if they uh, ship to where you are. But a lot of the times, like, RNs and, like, nurses will wear them, like, walking around hospitals and stuff. Um, they're super comfy. Um, but I, a, friend of, a friend of mine and I bought them together because um, we're going to be walking around in Spain, so we wanted some nice shoes, um, and they looked really comfy. So I also bought them, and I'm wearing them right now. <sighs> um, wait, you wear shoes? I don't. I don't wear shoes inside. I don't like wearing shoes inside. But these are brand new. Like, they just came out of the box, and I'm wearing them now. One, because I'm cold. Like, this is the literal worst time of the year, chat. Like, I hate winter, but the worst time of the year is they don't turn the heat on in my apartment until it is, like average 50 degrees outside what is 50 degrees in celsius let me see hold on um they don't turn on the heat until it's an average of 10 degrees celsius outside and or 50 degrees fahrenheit so it has to average 50 degrees before they'll turn the heat on and i am always cold if it's 
like so that means right now it's 50 degrees outside and or i think it's like 12 degrees celsius outside and i do not have heat on in my apartment yet so i'm just cold i'm always cold and like so I have rain odds. I've talked about it before. Google it. I don't like it's hard to explain. It's essentially I'm just always cold. My my body doesn't circulate my blood the way it's supposed to. So like I'll lose circulation in my hands and my feet. My lips will turn blue. Like it's just a great time. So it's like I I'm freezing <laughs> because I can't like I can't turn the heat on yet. I fucking hate it. So everyone's like, oh, fall. And I'm just like, fuck, <laughs> I don't want to be cold. <laughs> Uh, so Tali would be a Rams fan because the franchise keeps moving new shoes suck these ones actually aren't bad um these shoes aren't bad they're they're like wool so they're super comfy um so like and they're meant to be inside shoes so like I said they're worn in hospitals a lot because they're super comfy and they're really good inside shoes so Wearing them, yeah, because it's cold, yeah. I wanna like, I'm breaking them in. Like that's mainly why I'm wearing them, but also my feet are cold. Like I have slippers, but like they're they're right out of the box. They haven't been worn before. So I'm wearing them inside so I can like walk around. Um, Your friend got diagnosed with that? Yeah, it fucking sucks, honestly. It really sucks, especially being in a state where it's cold half the year. Yeah, hence the vest. Like I would be okay without the vest, but I would be a little chilly. So, oh. Sorry. <laughs> All right. What can I do for you, sir? Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Mm -hmm. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. That was Under a weird way to ask that. Like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. You're, why can't we just Amazon it? Bezos, get it to my ship right now. Oh. Need anything, Commander? Hmm. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural base. Oh, I've asked him this already. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Connolly and Daniels are too hot to be engineers. <laughs> How's engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Mm -hmm. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. <gasps> I got a package that was delivered. Carry on, Adam. Carry on. Aye, 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 aye. All right, I'm gonna go grab my package. <laughs> wait here, I'll put on, wait. I'll put on some music for you. I'll be right back. Gotta go get my package. It do be a heavy package, though. Yes. I am gonna open it. <laughs> I 
I already know what it is, though. Damn. So I bought two new books because I'm the fucking worst. So this is one of them. So Crown of Gilded Bones. It's the third book in a series that I read. A lot of people didn't like this book, so I'm like a little nervous, but I've read the first two and they were like, okay, they're spicy books. And they were like, okay, you know, like, I didn't like, like, I thought it was okay. Like, I would give it like a three and a half. The second book was pretty good. The first one was kind of bad. The second book was pretty good. And now a lot of people hate this one, so I'm like, Okay, and it was like 20 fucking dollars. Like, yeah, it's like, wait, how many pages is it? Um, It's 645 pages, so it is a big boy. But still, 3.5 out of 5. Right down the middle. Hi, Quango, how are you? And then the other one I got, I got the Zodiac Academy. Because the people that I follow on uh, TikTok just will not shut the fuck up about it. So, user new. I really want it, like, I want to buy them used, but the, these ones, the problem with these books is that they're really popular. So, the only used ones, so the used ones usually cost about the same as the new ones, but the problem with them is that the shipping usually costs more, so... I would love to buy them from half price books, but they are not fucking available. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one, I don't know if anyone's heard of the Zodiac Academy. I don't know. People won't shut the fuck up about them. Apparently there's like seven books or something. So I was like, I'm ready to buy so many. <laughs> but I'm in the middle of a different series called Throne of Glass. That is okay. I've read the first book. I'm like a fourth of the way through the other one, the next one, but... But I'm good, thank you for asking. Anything else, friends? Sometimes keep the grid balanced is pure murder. Pure murder? Oh, I said that wrong. Oh, that sounded like Tisiphone from fucking Hades, anyway. All propulsion systems are running optimally. That's good. Oh, hello? Thank you. Okay. Oh, wait, we have to go talk to Joker and Edie, too. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I have the automatic feeder. I just got really scared. I was like, I have to go feed my fish. But I don't. Cool. Got really scared there for a second. But what book did you get, Moff, man? Is it a series book? New book? <laughs> EMH, thank you for the follow. Have you read the Shadowhunter or Cities? No, I have heard of them, though. I do not have them, but I have heard of them. Do you like that voltage? Just a little bit of bouncing. How's our new visitor adjusting to the ship, Edie? He appears not to understand the human custom of separate sex restroom facilities. I am attempting to enlighten him. <laughs> I will update you if there is positive progress. Oh, oh my god, like what I she did! Just update me if he doesn't get the message. Very well. That's like when I like when I when you play for the first time uh, in Mass Effect 2 and you go in like if you accidentally go into the men's room and Edie tells you like Shepard this is the men's room but you know what I mean and like <laughs> so now now she's having to say that to Javik that's kind of funny oh it's long but worth it okay those poor colonists on Eden Prime first the get attack now Cerberus for what it's worth our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. Great. But on a half dragon impulse, it's called The Moaning of Life. It's based on Carl Pilkington's travel show on BBC called An Idiot Abroad. Oh, I hope it's funny too. I, if you bought it under the assumption that it would be funny and then it's not funny, I would be kind of mad. <laughs> Like, no, thank you. All right. Um, so we did a little roundabout. We chatted. 50% um, of assets, huh? Oh. I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I not get... 
All right, let's go to- I hate going to Asgard. It's so fucking far, dude. Uh... Show's phenomenal. Worst case, I just wasted seven bucks. Yeah, that's not that bad. Holy fuck. Okay. Oh. Nice. What'd I find? Remains of e Reaper Destroyer. That's kind of spooky. For recommending book series, I always recommend The Iron Fae. It's why, but I've loved it for years. There's, there's Fae in the title. Count me the fuck in. <laughs> I'm literally about to put it on my Amazon list. Just give me a second. <laughs> I, I read Akatar. I re I'm reading Throne of Glass. I'm in the middle of For Blood and Ash, like, I am fucking here for anything that has fae or fairies or the like in it. Are you sure that's what it's called? Oh, wait, the Iron Queen, the Iron Raven. Oh, okay. Damn, it's a long ass series. So is it called the, is the Iron King the first book? Are you mainly into fantasy? Right now I am. Um, It wasn't always that way though. Iron Fae book one, add to list. Nice. Um, I just like fantasy. It's just like, well, I'm, I'm currently into, um, I love me some spicy books. Oh wait, did I, I already got it here, right? Okay. Iron King is first. Okay, cool. Like there's just like something where it's like, it's nice escapism where it's like, I, the writing doesn't need to be the most spectacular thing in the world, um, for me to be engaged with it as long as the story is good. Um, but I honestly just got back into reading. Like, I... When I was growing up, I read all the time. Oh, oh no. <gasps> no! Oh my god, it's right there. All right, chat. This is the first ever Reaper invasion of Mass Effect 3. You fucking know what that means, chat. Are you ready? When you say spicy, do you mean romantic? Yes. Well, I mean, like explicitly sexual content. Not Fifty Shades of Grey, though. I know CJ isn't even here, but are you ready? I'm scared. <laughs> no! Oh my god. I really want to get to that planet, though. Fuck. Hold on. We're going back. We can do this. We can do this. Smut kind of. I like it when there's a story though. Fuck, fuck. No, I need that gas. No, I need that. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, I thought I had it. Ah. Luna Sun, thank you for gifting us up the voltage. That's very nice. All right, now we leave. <sighs> we did it, chat. Look at us go. I can write better explicit material than- Oh, Fifty Shades is garbage. Like, I have not read Fifty Shades of Grey. But Luna said thank you for gifting us up to Voltage. Voltage we'll have fun with your sub. Goose with the mature tag on for AO3. Ab Gimme. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> 
there were some spicy fix that I saw. Um, I read a couple that were like Shepard and or, uh, Shikarian, right? That's the tag for Garrison Shepard. They were fine. Like, some of them are really weird. So I'm like reading it and I'm like, this is okay. And then I'm like, what? <laughs> so I'm like, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, so I haven't read many. Um, okay, so... Sorry. Now it's just in my head. Um... Well, now the Reapers are there. Manka S. <laughs> uh... Excuse me. So it looks like I only have, like, notable quests in these two spots. I was doing that quest for Kasumi. Fuck it, let's go back to the Citadel. I literally was in the middle of doing that quest for Kasumi and I left. <laughs> I just dipped out of the Citadel. I don't know why I did that. I just, I think I forgot. Oh, and we can refuel our our gas here, so. For free! Um, yeah. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I think it's at the embassies, right? We need to get to the embassy. Yes, Commander. I like Kasumi a lot. She's one of my favorite characters. It's so it's just really sad that we don't see a lot of her. I wish we did. No! I was like, who's that? Oh no. Val, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll check Alun's personal Oh, don't, they're just to support his mistress. Don't worry. Just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress. <laughs> yeah. If Val catches up with you, I can grant you. Oh. But if I join up, last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. She does have a cool name. I just, I don't know. She's just so cool and just so, I feel under, like, I feel like she's underappreciated for sure. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Uh, important characters are listed. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I'm supposed to go talk to Ashley again, too. Um. Oh, the terminal. Okay, so I have to go to the docks. No, Aljolani, get away from me. Wait, where did I say? Holding area, right? The place where Gare Bear is. Cutest. Hello? Oh, there it goes. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24, emergency civilian housing. Bow, Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted. Why does it keep doing that? I'll check records for incoming Hanar. Would you rather the Reapers win? No. And I owe you for getting Cagey's gray box back from Hawk. But I can't do another collector base, Shep. The Reapers aren't people. I can't infiltrate a Reaper party and steal a big I win bomb. Mm. Sorry, there's some weird shit going on for work. We have a tournament, a Rocket League tournament going on right now. Oh my god, hi bat. What? Lord be grumpy goose me earlier today. Our goose said probably not streaming Friday. I should head to the brewery immediately after arriving at brewery. Twitch notification goose stream low. Hi! <laughs> Surprise! Surprise, bitch! <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you for the 11, bat 11 months? Just wait until next month and you get a shiny new badge upgrade? All good. <laughs> you know, it's fine. Yeah, I hope the brewery was slash is fun. I don't know if you're still there. Wait, where am I going? 
Wait, am I still supposed to be at the bay E28? Oh, wait, four. Oh, it's all the way at the end. Okay. Okay. Can I go say hi to Gare Bear on my way? I kind of want to go say hi to Gare Bear. I bought to go beers after one pint of pumpkin ale. Nice. <gasps> Chad, I had a date today. I had a date yesterday. I haven't even fucking talked about them yet. Oh my God. What kind of streamer am I holding on to this data? Not talking about it. Hold on. We have to talk to our boyfriend first. Our real boyfriend, obviously. I can't talk to him? This is outrageous. Goose date, d date data, do tell. Okay. Oh, you didn't miss out on anything unusual, just normal thirsting. Yeah, the usual. Like, so I had a date yesterday. I knew immediately that it wasn't gonna work out, but I felt bad. It lasted like a half an hour. And then I had my friend Megan pretend to be my boss and call me and say that I had to go back and work. <laughs> I just like, I knew and I was like so uncomfortable. Like, I think I was playing it off really well, but like, I, I was so uncomfortable. Um, and I was like, no, like I, like I said, I knew immediately, like immediately I was like, oh no, this is not gonna, nah. But then today, and the problem is we were gonna go get ice cream at an ice cream place that I really wanted to go to. And then I found out they don't have indoor seating. So I was like, fuck, we have to go somewhere else. So we went somewhere else and like, it was a cafe that I really like. Um, but then today we were just gonna meet up at like a caribou because I got so burned yesterday, chat. Like that burned me so bad. And so I was like, oh, like, I'm just gonna like 15 minutes at a caribou. You know, I'm like, I'm not gonna like have like this open-ended like space of time. Like I wanna know that I can leave right away if I don't like it, you know what I mean? So <laughs> it was gonna be at a caribou and then we get in, like I go there and I'm like 10 minutes early. I, I like being early because I like getting a seat and like establishing myself there and waiting for them to come to me. I hate having to like look around like a restaurant or a coffee shop trying to find someone, fuck that shit. So I always like to get there first. <laughs> so I sat down and like, or I go there and their lobby is closed. Like you can't go inside the building. You could only go through like the drive through. So I'm like, oh. Now what? Like, so I had to sit, I had to fucking sit outside, chat. It's like 50 degrees, out. granted the sun was out so it was warm, but I'm just like sitting outside and there's like two or three tables and I'm just like, well, I'm outside. <laughs> and so that was, our date was set for like 10.45, but I had a meeting put out for 11. So I was like, well, just short time, I guess, just a little bit of time, but I really liked him. He was very sweet. And he was really nice. He's in IT, um, works for a major like corporation. And I was like, he seems really nice. So I think we'll go out again. So, hi cheese. Why is everywhere closed? Yeah. You both go through the drive-thru in one car? No. <laughs> Extra time, get your muscle distributed income, you know, in case it's a, yeah. See that was for me. Yeah, I like getting there early just to be safe. And then I also like having a set end time so that even if I do like them, that means we can get together again. And if I don't like them, then I can fucking leave. <laughs> just drink them in the, oh, drink in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he call it esports or esports? I don't think he said esports yet, but one of his friends works for the opposing esports, like our competition. There are two esports teams. Well, so we have a Rocket League team at work and there's a one other Rocket League team in Minnesota and they just got a giant fucking office in the Mall of America. So they're kind of a little bit of a big deal right now. And one of his best friend does the social media for that company. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like how small, like what? I do social media. <laughs> like, it's just funny. Romeo and Juliet or West Side Story. Exactly. I just thought it was really funny. 
Because he's he was texting me today about it. He's like, I don't know, because our teams are currently playing each other right now. And he was like, I don't know who to cheer for. And I was like, if you don't cheer for my team, I'm blocking you. <laughs> I mean, I hope you understood that I was joking, but hopefully it ends better than roping you and Julia. Trust me, bitch. I am not stabbing myself over a guy. Uh-uh. I would rather eat myself to death than do that. Bang the friend and steal her info. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That's really funny, though. I've got a list of new <sighs> hands forwarding it to you. On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Yeah. Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. Of course he is. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I'm touched. <laughs> I like how she doesn't mention, like, oh, Liara wasn't in Mass Effect 2. Like, she was, but not on the ship. Garrus is literally the only one that she would have known anyway. Oh, that makes me really sad. Cheese, thank you for paying your taxes. Thank you. Ooh, I kind of like this Turian's outfit. He went like full orange. I respect that vibe. I respect that. Uh, where? I don't know where my glasses are. Oh, they were hiding. The council called these invaders reapers. Theoretical enemy? Did they just say a theoretical enemy? Hello, they're literally here. They are literally currently destroying Earth. What do you mean theoretical? Hello? Man, these guys would be dumb. <laughs> Though to be fair, chat, I was gonna say we don't really have something similar, but we do. And it's called COVID. Fake news, right? Oh, that's not real. This virus. These are the same people who think the Earth is flat even when there are pictures, yeah. Well, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names... I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that... That's a sad name. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So, he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Hi, other cheese. Big cheese. How are you? I love Kasumi. She's great. She's just so cool, you know? Wait, was it was it the embassies? The evil lampshades, yeah. They really do be the evil lampshades. Oh. Sorry, Luna. What kind of link were you trying to post, Monka S? Ah, oh, yes, the evil lampshade. Zamandis. Or should I say... Regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard. The Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Okay. You've got to be kidding me. That's some backward-ass logic. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish. <laughs> you know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapiens, the galaxy will bear witness. Well... I don't think the Enkindlers are going to be doing anything today. 
Your belief in you your tell him, Shepard. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. You bitch. Wait, a virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. Oh! You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! What's up? What, wait, what's the link, Barry? I can't open it yet. What is it called? Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! Oh, it's a right of pick? Okay. She was here the entire time. Oh she god, Rip Kasumi. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. I like how they just leave it at that. Return the favor with a few friends. Wow, you're welcome. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy. And you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. I miss her. All right, what is this? Uh, what's this link, Rooney? Oh, wait here, hold on. Uh. Ah, uh, yes, Reaper. Oh, that's the council. Ah, <laughs> yes, Shepherd. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, look at the little collector baby. I like how it's also in Comic Sans. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> that is a that is a good pick. We have dismissed this claim exactly. About to enkindle this gun up your ass, you dumb jellyfish. Uh, wouldn't it be handy if you had? Oh wait, sorry, a real life Prothean to tell them how much of a moron they are. Oh my god, if only. Oh, you lost your friend. Here's twenty bucks. Yeah. Comic Sans is best font for comedy. It honestly is. Dude, at my old job, that was the font that our accountant used to send out invoices. Fucking Comic Sans. We had to consistently tell her to fucking knock it off. I saw your acting skills in that version one video are spot on. Thank you. And Dylan's. I have an extra. Wait, here, I can show it to you. Oh, fuck. It'll be really hard to see, but I can. I have the clip on my phone. Maybe I can play it. Hold on. Um, let me see. Oh, stop. Can I, mul can I turn it? Bye. Nice. Hold on. So we have an outtake. You guys won't be able to see it. Here. You won't be able to see it. St I said pause, you little bitch. Um... So I did a commercial for work, not a commercial, but like a little ad. I literally, um, and we were outside filming with Dylan who was wearing the windbreaker, which is what we were advertising. And I was trying to make it seem like it was really windy. So I threw a stick in front of the camera. Here, I'll post the, it'll be better tomorrow. You won't be able to see the stick cause it is so fucking small, but here you can just see Dylan's face. Oh, wait, did I press play? No, I didn't. Wait. He just starts laughing because I fucking... Because <laughs> I just threw a stick. I'll post it on socials later, but... It was so funny because I, like, tried to throw a stick so that it would look super windy, and it would, didn't work. <laughs> no! Even Papyrus would make more sense. Papyrus fucking sucks, though. The font. I'm considering sending all business related emails in metal band logo font. <laughs> I mean, it would make it more exciting. That's for sure. <laughs> That'd be really funny. If you have a question, please 
Uh, okay, so we have to talk to Ashley. We haven't done that yet. So that was Kasumi's quest. Kachek. Wait, Kachow. <laughs> you should have attached the stick to a fishing line. <laughs> that would have been really funny. How do I support the receptionist? Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. It took her long enough to get the hint. I just don't think it matters that much. You know, like, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, you shouldn't have called this the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Because he's not dead. It's like, well, you know, the old him isn't really alive anymore. So never support the care. And that was kind of my thought. It's like, you're being obnoxious. I'm not I'm not going to help you. <laughs> oh, she's standing. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. I still like, I like, I don't want to be mean because I don't exactly know what she was doing between Mass, the end of Mass Effect 1 and now. So maybe she like earned it. But like, I just feel like she didn't, you know? I feel like Anderson deserves it way more than Ashley does. Like, back to looking like a supermodel right out of the hospital bed. Well, I'm just glad to see that uh, her makeup, or not her makeup, her uh, the dirt is no longer on her face. <gasps> Does she have teeth? Last time she didn't have teeth. You ready for the responsibilities of a specter? Doesn't feel real yet. Oh, she has teeth again. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? Who let Odina hand out specter status anyway? Oh, that's a fair point. It might have been a play by Adina to gain her trust. That's true. But yeah, it should be a full council decision. And I can't see them giving it to Ashley, except for the fact that she's near me. So it's like a by proxy, like, appointment. Like, I don't know. That feels wrong. I don't know. What do I think of all this? I don't... I can't say she earned it because I don't believe that, but I don't want to be, like, too mean. Hi, Lemonhead. Is this your first playthrough? No, this is my second. But this is the first time I've saved Ashley, that's for sure. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't want to be mean, but I trust her combat ability more than Kanan's. All he did is claim to have banged a specter. True, except he didn't, though. He did not bone me this time. Actually, he didn't in the first one either. I didn't let him. So. They should give me a mod so that I can bang Garrus in Mass Effect 1 so I can see the romance scene. Can they just replace Caden's body with Garrus? I'll even pretend that the voice is there. You know, like, I don't care. I just I want to see the romance scene, but I don't want to romance Caden. In Mass Effect 2, Ashley's reason for not joining Chef was because she thought Cerberus was too extremist in their pro-human ways, which is weird coming from Ashley, though. I don't know. Yeah, I'm never sure of Indina's motives. Seems a little too convenient. Well, gee, thanks for your support. Yeah, that was kind of mean. I don't need Udina to tell me you're an exceptional soldier. Nor should you. I guess so. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. <laughs> that was really mean. <laughs> I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? Good question. After I was just That's mean to her. <laughs> sure. Let me know. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry, I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. <gasps> oh, that's so good! That's good news! That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. 
I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. It seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus by Henley. I was going to say it's a poem. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. That was actually extremely sad. She, like, there, her voice acting in there, Chad, did you hear how fucking good that was? Oh my god, the emotion and oh my god. That was so good. She did such a good job with that. We're like, that was the epitome of strong, but like, so sad. Like, she conveyed the sadness in there so well without also seeming like a crybaby. You know what I mean? Like, that was, oh my god, that was so good. It's quiet up here. Okay. That, I, that was real fucking good. I wonder how much healthcare is in this game or if it's universal. I would hope that at this point it's fucking universal healthcare. I feel like they've got bigger fucking problems than healthcare. At least they fucking better. Make Garrus a Spectre in three? Hmm. I would approve of that. Mm, I don't think I have those yet. No, nothing? Okay, friends. Man, that was real good. That conversation with Ashley was really, really good. Garrus would be an amazing Spectre. He seriously would. I always think about that conversation or that um, document uh, in Mass Effect 2 on the... Um, what's it? Um, the fuck? The Shadow Broker ship. Just, sorry, uh, my, my brain was like... The, 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 on the shadow broker ship where it's talking about how like Garrus would be really great but he's like stuck under like like he's overshadowed by Shepard and I'm like that makes me real fucking sad like to know of the things that he could do if Shepard wasn't in his way I don't know it just makes me sad but like I can't see Garrus wanting to be anywhere else you know like, I can't see Garrus just being like, yeah, I, like, wouldn't want to be there. Like, I don't see that. Oh, where can I find that? And you can- shut- I'm not even reading that. Fuck you. God. Um. I guess I'm gonna go to the, uh, comments? Yeah. I don't think Garrus feels that Shep is holding him back. I would agree with that. I really don't think he does. Because I just don't see Garrus as that kind. Like, I don't see him ever in that mentality, you know? Like, to him, he wouldn't want to be with any other team. Oh, we got more fish! Fuck the other stuff. I'm buying fish. Okay, now, now for realsies. What are we getting? Um, I don't think it's any of those things. Bye. Uh, those are guns. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Wait, e-gel thermal conduit? Wait, is that what I need? Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranty. Purchase. I think it's like OG Star Trek Spock never took a command, not because Captain Kirk was in his way, but because his current position served the galaxy the best. Yeah, I, I feel that. Where it's like, that's where he, like, yeah, I just think that's where Garrus would want to be if he got to choose anyway. You know? I just don't think he would want to. I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it would be hard to communicate when he left in here. 
Man, this is some drama. Oh my god, that dress is kind of cool. Like, do you see where those cutouts are? That would look fucking horrible on me, though. Man, your girl's got too big of hips for that to be flattering. But man, on the right person, that is a fucking awesome dress. Hi, Fox. How are you? I like your Liara emo. I have a Garrus one. He's very cute. Because he's my favorite. Yes! I love Garrus. He's the cutest. All right, I need to find that thing. Yeah, there he is. Look at him, he's so cute. Oh, wait, what's over here? General, oh, I have to go talk to him, that's right. See, yeah, look at that dress where those cutouts are on the hip. Like, goddamn, it's almost like they're wearing, oh, like, a, what's it? Um, What are those, like, like, not a onesie, that's not the word I want. Like a bodysuit? And like a skirt, but they just didn't pull it up all the way. <laughs> Shepard in the party dress. I always put Shepard in a dress. It's my favorite way to dress up Shepard. She also has black lipstick. It's hard to tell because of the shadows. But she has black lipstick on. She's a fucking boss ass bitch who can wear a dress if she wants to. She's the coolest. Um... They're all talking to me at the same time. I'm getting, getting scared. Okay, so it's not here. So did I already buy it? She ever would go into combat in the dress if she could? She absolutely fucking would. I would force her to go out in a dress if she could. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, it's fine. Just wear your dress. It's, you know, it's whatever. Oh, hi, Edie. Hold up. I have to look here first, though. So I assume I bought the thing that we needed. I'm pretty sure I did. But hi, Edie. Yeah? It may interest you to know that they are much more agreeable when the hegemony is no longer watching. Ooh. That's interesting. Wait, oh, is Joker here? Nice. Hi, friend. Oh, wait, I can't talk to him? Bro. Hi, Edie, you're almost as important as my fish. <laughs> But let me look if I can buy fish first, okay? <laughs> I wasn't looking for fish though. I was looking for the 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 weapon part. If that makes it slightly better, because it was for a quest. Hello, Shepard. Oh, okay. What an enthralling conversation. Thank you so much, Liara. Commander Shepard. Hi. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Drunk. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. Oh, that's good. Just gonna sit next to you. I need to do my part. Shepard, just close your legs, please. The blue suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When? The war comes here. I like him. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop. I like the blue reflection on his skin. Stop the blue suns. Like when he, they get a closer. Oh, that's actually really cool because if you look his like skin underneath, like on his neck. Is like a like a blue like a blue gray color, but his like actual scales are a black. But when it like goes in on his face, it reflects blue. That's fucking dope. I thought they fixed that. I mean, I think she might be wearing underwear now, but fuck with the Turians. I love their color. I love I love the Turians in a couple different ways. <laughs> They're like my favorite. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall. Just airing out the goods. Yeah, it gets hot. She's wearing an all leather dress, man. If you're not wearing proper underwear, that's gonna get stanky. Like, I guess I don't blame her. You gotta just air it out. It's down here, right? I'm pretty sure. Wait, are these the two? Oh, yeah, the Petrovskis.
So, like, this was, like, people from Mass Effect 2, or Mass Effect 1, where they... She was having a son, like, a child, and her husband died, and then that was the brother. And now they're complaining about daycare. Those flowers are kind of pretty, though, now that I see them everywhere. I kind of would like them in my ship, but I don't think I can. Hi. I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top end inventory? Shit. You slumming for secrets. Shit. <laughs> I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure they'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Mm. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Do I not do I not have those things? CSEC wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple of artifacts. Shit. Okay, well I don't have the artifacts then. That's kind of annoying. Boo! Oops, sorry, sir. <laughs> Whoops. So that's too bad. Cause I'm pretty sure the first time I played this, I already had everything. So I just gave it to him. Now that's annoying. I have to go look for things. Ugh. Fine. Disgraced Commander Shepard? Hello? In what universe is Shepard disgraced? Please. Okay, so. I think that's it. I got the thing that they wanted, so. At least I hope that's what they were looking for, because, like, man. I went to all the shops, so. Hi, buddy! The keepers are so cute. I love their little vests. And the little backpack. They're just so cute. I don't understand. I don't know why I think they're cute. I don't like bugs. I'm not a bug person. But, like, man, there's something about the keepers that's just fucking adorable. Look at them their little fingers. Maybe it's their giant eyes. It's on it. I think it's the vest. I think it's the safety vest. It just gets me. It's just so cute. Aw, little babies. Okay. Back on the Normandy. Yes. Oh, my packages. I just had this, like, spot on my shoulders. Oh, it's because there's a tag there. That's why it's itchy. All right, let's go give them that thing in engineering. Um... At least I hope that's what I grabbed. If not, this is going to be an awkward conversation. Then I remember that they were probably an earlier race that was indoctrinated and repurposed by the Reapers. Wasn't there a thing that confirmed that they were, like, built purposefully to be slaves for the Reapers? Wait, where did Ken go? Did I catch him on a bathroom break? Hello, wait. Andy, right? Probably only like 45 minutes of stream left. Though. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Where did Ken go? Is he down here? Taking a nap? What this? Oh, there was a thing down here. Okay, cool. I heard a squeak. Ah! Oh my god! Come here! Get him! Wait, where'd he go? Wait, did you guys see that? It was my hamster! Wait, did I grab him? Did I get him? Where'd he go? Bro, what the fuck? Did I get him? Oh my god, I've never- <laughs> I didn't have the- oh! Pick up! I'm spamming the pickup button! I'm sp Oh my god, we got him. Oh my fucking- I didn't have a space hamster the last time I played. <laughs> that scared the fu I heard the squeak and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where is it? 
Oh my god, that was oh that was amazing. Oh my god, that was so fun. <laughs> Where did Ken go? Ah. You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is eating? Kenneth, stop right there. Just in a tell Joker. He'll get jealous. Okay. Uh, genetically made by the Reapers to maintain their space poop. Yeah, see, that's what I, th I was like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it, uh, the Reapers made them, but. Working on the thermal modification. Should be done pretty soon. Great. Um, I mean, it's, I mean, does it make them any better? No, but I still think they're cute. All right, let's go see our fucking hamster. That was fucking wild, chat. Oh my God. I'm sorry if I like screamed. Hi, bud. <laughs> That's stupid ass squeak. Anything in here? No. Hi, that's me. Okay. Anything up here? No? Okay. We've got quite a few models though, chat. I'm still missing quite a few though. Damn, that is so many. Oh, the Citadel one spins. Oh my God, I love it. Excuse me. Oh, look at all my fish. Fuck yeah. Oh wait, actually, I kind of want to hold up. I'm going to get a picture by the fish tank without Shepard though, so that I can use this fucking picture in my cosplay photos so I can just have the fish tank in the background. I'm so smart, you guys. Holy shit. And then maybe like one like here. Oh, my cursor was in it. My bad. One like here, maybe? God, why am I so smart? Fuck. Or like one like by the desk, maybe? I don't know. This do be a cute spot, though. Five. <laughs> uh, is there anywhere else? Where, if, Chad, if I were to take a, use uh, something for cosplay, maybe like the bed area? I don't know. Like, it's kind of nice over here. I don't know. It's not very exciting, but. Multi-talented pro streamer and smart. Imagine being both of those things. It's hard. It's really complicated, but you know, I managed to get it done. So, not to brag. <laughs> the bathroom? I don't, <laughs> I don't need to do one in the bathroom. <laughs> Thanks, the voltage. Appreciate it. Oh, okay, fine. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? Um, oh my god, we have so fucking many. Um, okay, so we did this. We found the thermal pipe, so maybe we have to go back in and talk to them. Help the resistance movement by getting them Cerberus intel. How? Do I have to go back to Eden Prime? What? How do I do that? What? Okay, well, I'm not doing those. I can't do that. Aren't bathroom selfies obligatory, though? Like, my lead singer friends take them? No. <laughs> nope, I don't think so. So maybe we just like. Mm. Maybe we'll just go around looking for some shit. We'll go to some. Uh... Are you ready for some more possible songs, chat? Some more Benny Hill. Hope you are. Because we're going to go exploring. All right, let's go over here, I guess. We're just going to go in a circle. Nice. Boop. Here's a bathroom selfie. I mean, maybe, but I don't have any good pics though. That would be good for like a bathroom selfie. You know what I mean? Oh, I shouldn't have invested that or investigated that. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, let's fucking leave. Well, that one was easy, 100%. Look at me go. Oh, 
Oh, chat, question. So I'm trying to think, I would like to go on a date with new man that I'm seeing potentially. What would you do for a, like, what's a good second date? Like our first date was literally, we didn't even get coffee. We just sat outside of a coffee shop and talked for like 20 minutes. Like what is a, like what's a good second date? Cause I feel like I wouldn't want to get coffee. You know, but like, I don't know, like, Signal confirmed. I wouldn't know what, like what to do though. Like, it feels like I don't want to do dinner. I don't know. I'm conflicted. And I need help from chat who clearly knows what they're doing with dates. Oh, that was it. Oh, a fuel depot. Wait. Oh my God. I don't even need fuel. What a waste. Okay. Well, these have been pretty fucking easy so far. 20 minutes seems short to go with another coffee. I just don't want to... I don't like coffee, though. Local brewery with pizza. Expertise with 55-year-old single man. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with, like... I, But I don't like beer, either. Um. But yeah, so maybe, like, a, like a happy hour or something. Movie, then dinner. I don't like doing movies for dates, though. Like, because I just feel like then you're just sitting there for two hours. Ooh, I would love a good fucking brunch. But then you'd be hungry enough or you don't need to eat much at all. Point would be to t talk in a comfy place. That's right. Museum. Huh. Marriage! <laughs> sure, Voltage. Yeah, that's it. Marriage. Let's start with that. Get to see the important things, like what breakfast foods they like or hate. That's actually a good point. I would... I Yeah, maybe I should ask him if he wants to do brunch. Substitute winery or cider place for brewery. A meadery? Hold on. Googling. I'm literally Googling. Hold on. I wonder if there's a mead place near me. <laughs> mead. Oh, there is one, but it's 17 miles away. But this very far away. Urban Forage Winery? That's 23 minutes away. That's not too bad. But I didn't even know we had a meadery anywhere near here. A winery would be kind of fun, though. Wait, how long would it take for me to get to this place, though? Oh, it's a, like a half an hour drive isn't too bad. But it's... Ooh. It's like northeast. No one goes over there. Maybe it would just be something additional to talk about, but it still gives you a time to share. Well, we both watch esports. So maybe if there was like a game, could watch that. But the problem is all the esports that would be on TV here <laughs> would be games that like my team is in. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't mind movies. Um, oh, did I get it? I don't, I don't mind them at all. But yeah, maybe like a casual like brewery or something. Oh, I found it literally right away. I love that. Um, I'm going to leave that there though for when I need gas. Any arcades? There is. There is actually an arcade place here. There is a Dave and Buster's. The arcade place would be cheaper though. The arcade place is kind of loud though. And I'm also really bad at arcade games. So my only problem is that I'm like competitive and if I, I like don't like being bad. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? You know what that means. Near you both. I mean, he lives relatively near me. Gaming and dinner. Well, we could, I don't know. Legendary awkwardness as he watches esports rebroadcasts with you of you doing commentary. Can you imagine? It's like, oh yeah, that's me. Amusement park, but it's getting colder. Yeah, and the amusement parks here are expensive. All right, chat, you ready? Oh, only 50%. Yeah, right, bitch. All right. No. No! Let's try again. Oh, found it! 
Okay, we're leaving. Okay, goodbye. I don't I don't even need it. Faster than light jump successful. Goose, I am the alpha geek in this relationship. <laughs> he works in IT though, so really is am I? Am I the alpha geek? I don't know, man. What's more nerdy, working in IT or working in esports? Cause I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Give me that gasoline. I think he might be- see, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I feel like I lose that. Which I guess fine. It's not a contest. Oh, 100%. Oh shit, okay. Uh, wait, did I not 100%? Uh. Okay, well- wait, have I not discovered literally anything over here? That's so boring. <sighs> yeah, for sure, Andy. Yeah, like, and I don't mind about the expensive nature of it. Like, I don't mind how much it costs because your girl just got a fucking promotion. So we making bank over it. Well, not bank. I'm not making IT money, but um, I don't know. Most dates aside from the first one. Oh, wait, I just read that. What day? What does he do for IT help desk tier two or system admin? He does back end, so like, I'm not gonna say what company it is, but it's a like top, like, you know it, like it's a big corporate tech company. Um, and he like helps basically with the back end, like online making sure that like people can like make purchases of things from the store. Like, I think like making sure that like, yeah, it has to do with databases, but he doesn't work in the database very, like he doesn't actually do any coding most of the time like but they basically plug into the corporate database and make sure that things are working from what i could tell from what i could glean uh i rank you tied for geek card thank you thank you <laughs> i don't know uh how you get when you're drinking a couple drinks prior to gaming together may make it less competitive see that's true if i had i literally would just need one drink your girl does not need a lot in order to start having a good time. But then I get like kind of obnoxious. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I drink, I am fucking obnoxious. I wish I wasn't, but I kind of am. Am I gonna run out of gas? Monk S. I found something. Oh god. But yeah, I literally, I could be wrong though. I'm pretty sure that's that's how we explained it today. Cause I'm always very curious about like IT jobs. Cause I'm just like, what do you do? But also cause I took that coding class, you know? So I'm kind of like, do you code? I understand code. Not really though. <laughs> I could read code, but could I make it? Probably fucking not. Uh, but maybe that's for, a, that's for a later date. Just chill and talk and have a beer at a table, play games. Yeah, so yeah, I'm because it's like I felt like it's like I would have felt comfortable talking, you know, like for a while. Um. Oh wait, 100% of assets. There's no fucking gasoline here, chat. Are we gonna? Are we about to run out of gasoline? So we're at half. Do I risk going up to discs and like not having enough? You know, we're just gonna go. We're not even gonna think about it. We're just gonna go. I did not run out of gas a single time when I played Mass Effect 3, but you'll probably find more. That's what I'm hoping. Signal confirmed. God bless. God bless this. <laughs> God bless this. 200 units? God, you're fucking blue balling me, video game. Nope. You gonna risk this? Instead of that? <laughs> yes. I will do this. I will risk this or that. It's so fucking slow. God fucking damn. I literally have to move it like all the way down. Like my mouse pad is so irritating. If your friends that are done, you can have them hang out with you and then them at their house or to pizza, watch esports on their main TV. True. I could do that. I just don't have friends that have houses. Wait, did I scanned it, right? Yeah, that was weird. I just didn't see it pop up. Are you ready, chat? I mean, I think we're gonna escape just fine, but. Oh, maybe not. Ha! Ah! 
Ha! Ah, now I'm just I was dunking on him. <laughs> okay. I think we'll make it. I don't know. We'll see. Why you do this? Hi, Chris! Oh, no. Yo, there better be some gasoline here. I blade input lag. It's fine. How are you, Chris? Thanks for the raid. I'm assuming you were playing uh, Inquisition. Or apartment. True. True. But I just don't have any friends that are, like, interested in esports. I mean, except for my coworkers, but I'm not gonna, like, have my coworkers be on, like, a date with, like, no, that's weird. Your friends with house, just none of us are within five hours. True. <laughs> that's fair. You finished Inquisition, like, six weeks ago? That seems like a lie. That is such a big game. There's no way. Oh, no. This is about to be bad, chat. You ready? That wouldn't make sense. Yeah, it'd be weird. Hey, <laughs> hey, co-workers. <laughs> nah, that'd be, it'd just be weird. I don't want to, I don't want to be that weird. Like, I'm okay being weird, but like, that's aligned. <laughs> All right. And yet again, there better be fucking gasoline chat. Ready? They're already here though. <gasps> oh my God. Again, with the 200 units, that's just mean. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh no, oh no. No, they got me! No! <laughs> I was too far away, no! You know what that means, chat. I'm so sorry to have failed you. Big Fs. I wish I had a button that would put like F on the screen. I have to listen to enough of this to feel pain. I should have tried to juke him. Hold on, we have to get to the chorus and then we'll be done. I have, I have to learn from my mistake. Okay. Oh, I missed it. There we go. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Get. <laughs> Sorry. Oh wait, but now I know where they are, right? Wait, that's like cheating. Cause they're like right over here, aren't they? Aren't they both like right here? I found something. Yeah. Cheating. This is cheating. <laughs> it's fine. Was it this way? Yeah. I'm sorry, Chad. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you didn't, if you were wearing headphones, I'm really sorry. Not sorry enough though. Look at that. Two for one. I still don't know if we have enough gas to get back, though. I'm going to be real honest. I, I don't know. We're going to try. Oh, no, I don't think we will. Oh, God. Oh, God. There better be some fucking gasoline here, you guys. Please. Signal confirmed. Already? This is toxic. Fuck. Well. Already? Fuck. Come on. It's gotta be around here somewhere. No? Really? None? Fuck. I need gas. We gotta try again. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god, they're so fast. Faster than light jump successful. Where would it be? Bottom left? Oh my god, they're fucking all right there. Evasion successful. 
true. That's true, Andy. Lots of ideas. Thank you for the help. Now, if only I could be better at this fucking video game. No! Where is it? I'm gonna run out a song before I fucking find this little bitch. Is it up here? No. No! Oh, there it is! Okay, we found it. We found it! Okay, we got this. We got this, chat. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Oh, there's one right there. Fuck. Gotta juke him. Gotta juke him. Gotta juke him. No! I miss it! No! God, this game is so toxic! Ah! Oh, fuck! <laughs> God damn it. It is the last place I looked, yeah. See the problem though, Andy, is that it's cold. So I don't want, I can't really walk around much. Wait, what, why did it restart me here? No, I, no, I clicked on it. God. Okay, what if I try going like this and coming from this angle? Oh my god, I'm out of gas. Oh, please, 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 no. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh! Reapers eluded. How did that work? Yeah, bitch! Okay, sorry. Hell yeah. Hi, Gonza, how are you? That was terrifying. I hated that. I hated every moment of that. I found something. Oh, no! Glad it's the weekend. Yes, sir, I agree. I want a stuffed crust pizza with cheddar, spinach, and pepperoni on it. That is a very interesting choice you got there. All right, child, let's do this. You ain't getting me this time, you little bitches. I can just go to the mass relay, but... No, I wanted there to be gas. <gasps> Found it! Nope, not risking it. No! Oh. Hold on. Be right back, chat.
Hello? <laughs> I am back. Do any of you guys know Thunderhips? He just called me. <laughs> so I was like, oh fuck, what's going on? But no, everything's fine. So you might have heard in the middle of that that you heard the Reaper sound come back because I pressed the escape button because I wanted to F or uh, Alt F, or not Alt F4, Alt Tab, so that I could type in chat that like I was like get on a work call or something. <laughs> but then I pressed the escape button and it brought me back into this fucking galaxy. So the Reaper noise came on again and I started panicking. I was like, fuck, <laughs> but it's fine. Everything's fine. So we're good to go. It was just he needed me to write something down. Hi, Jordan. I was literally just talking about Thunderhips. He just called me to tell me about something that I have to post over the weekend. <laughs> Signal confirmed. Oh, boy. How was your stream? Did you guys do the raid? I saw you were raiding. What? No, yeah, he just called me. Uh, I, I wrote it down on the back of a... <laughs> I have a check here. What was it for? I bought some... Um, um, for work, sometimes they have us run and like get shit from Target. So I needed to get some um, memory cards for the camera. And I, so I have a check over here that I just keep forgetting to like throw away. And so it's literally I wrote notes down on the back of it. <laughs> Picked up... Oh, hard carry. Good, good. Okay. Real literal under leveled. Yeah, but I mean... But New World is one of those where you're supposed to play it a lot, though, anyway, right? Like, so I'm sure you'll be playing enough to, like, where you won't have, like, an issue. But it's the same thing, like, when I would play Destiny. Like, I always would just have someone else carry me, you know? I was like, I'm under leveled, And they'll be like, it's fine, just go stand over here. And I'd be like, okay. <laughs> I'm just here for the loot. Which, you know. I personally think that's fine, but... Oh, there we go. I don't know I haven't uh, I haven't bought it yet. I haven't bought me some New World, but it'll take the it'll just take the right person to convince me. Wait, is there other galaxies here? The raids in the gear are very similar. That's what's kind of cool. Uh, okay. Literally, as I say that, it popped up in the bottom corner that a friend of mine is starting to play it. <laughs> Like, well, that's what I thought. I found something. Oh boy, so many things. Smash your pass, the Hamburglar. The cartoon or the IRL costume? Very important distinction here. New World is a great game if you're into MMOs. I don't play, I don't think I've ever played an MMO. Destiny is the closest I've gotten. That's not even an MMO. You pick. I would pass on the costume, potential smash of the cartoon, if I was also a cartoon and there were burgers involved. If he had just stolen a fresh batch of burgers. So. Has New World melted any graphics cards or is it a 1% problem? <laughs> Destiny is an MMO. I don't. I mean, I guess, but not in the same sense. Like, there's not servers. Four day work week. Hell yeah. I love that for you. Oh my God. There better be gasoline here. Oh my God. Yo, I'm going to run out of gas. Oh no. Oh no. This is so bad. No. Oh, thank God! Oh, no! No! Oh, fuck. It's been hard on your processor. Oh, that's why you got a new, um, a new CPU, yeah? Fuck. Oh, wait, sorry. No! Oh, fuck! Oh, we're so fucked. Ah! Okay. Let's try that again. Hold on. Fuck, they're coming from the wrong direction. Shit. 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 Fuck. How am I gonna get that? Oh. We might be fucked, chat. 
People are saying they're having problems, but it's pretty 1%. Oh, okay. Oh, if you caps it. Okay, that makes sense. See you later, Jordan. Have fun. All right, let's see. My mouse! Did you guys fucking see that? I was holding down the click and it just stopped. My ship just stopped fucking moving. Oh my god. Thank you, Jordan. It's 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 a good meme. Because I'm being fucking chased. Oh no, are we gonna make it back? Yes, but it's gonna be very close. Oh my god. Oh yikes. Skrrr. My ship really did not wow, that was so fucking rude though. Um, we need to go somewhere with a gas station. This one, pretty sure. People are like, oh yeah, they got rid of most of the fuel depots, but it's okay, you'll find gasoline everywhere. No! No, you don't. It's a lie. Hi, Rianth. Those Reapers gotten hugged yet? Yes. I was hugged like three times already today. Gotta say, not a fan. Not a fucking fan. Uh. But you know. How are you, Rian? Wow. Oh, when you click too close to the edge of your screen, it stops moving? That's fucking stupid. Wait, what? Is there nothing here? Work? Yeah, ain't that a fucking mood. Is this the only- Oh, this is the Grissom Academy place! Wait, so there's really nothing for me to discover here? Then why doesn't it say 100%? That's gonna bother the shit out of me. Bro. Fuck. That's dumb. Um, let's go here, I guess. I'm just trying to, I just want to get them to the 100%. So that I don't have to do it later. Cause I will have to do it later and I don't want to. Oh my God and God bless, there's a fuel depot here. Excuse me, love to see it. We'll go here first. I always find it scary if you start um, scanning at the place with the mass relay. Because like, what happens if you get the, oh my God, that's a big ass sun. Cause if you get the reapers right away, oh no, then it's gonna be hard to get back, you know? Oh no. Oh my God, they're all three right in this fucking corner. Did you see that shit? 750! On a mostly full tank of gas. No. Well, okay, I've discovered them. That fucking sucks. Man, that sucks balls. Okay. Whatever, I'm not gonna be mad about it. I mean, I'm gonna be a little mad. I'm a little mad, okay? But not like mad enough, but also kind of. Oh no. Oh god, okay. Sorry. Now I just like the song. But up, but up. Sorry. Is that a hundred percent? Fuck. Oh, okay. Uh it's okay. We found the last thing. That's good enough, I guess. And at least I can buy fuel. I don't know. It would have been nice to be there and just like collected the fuel so I don't have to go back, but c'est la vie, chat. C'est la vie. Okay, let's see. Wait, is there nothing here? The Reapers aren't coming. And I'm scanning and finding nothing. Is it because there's a fuel depot? Or something? I don't know. That's weird. So maybe it's... There's nothing to find in that one? 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't make the rules here, chat. I just work here. That's not true. Oh, I can't scan nothing because it's a play. Like, I think it's because there's a story mission or story quest here or something. Dang, that's too bad. Well, boo. Um, can I do? Is there? Doesn't the Citadel have something that branches off of it? I could be wrong though. Oh, it doesn't. I swear it did. Oh, it was like Kasumi's DLC. That's why. Man. Um. I don't know. Well, we're docked here. Let's just stay here for a sec. Um, what did I find? What did I find? Banner of the First Regiment. Uh, find someone on the Citadel who can use it? Uh... Okay, I guess we'll go do that. We'll go land at the we'll go dock ourselves at the Citadel. Man, I wish the Citadel was real. I really want like I would love to go like walk around. No. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. I'd fucking kill to walk around in the Citadel. Especially the Citadel from Mass Effect 1. That would be fucking- Wait, Cortez is here! Wait, where? Oh, he's over here! You finally made it off the Normandy. I love that! Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, oh. Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkov. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. And I'm with you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. Aww. The refugees here have put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Oh, that is so sweet! suggestion to come out here was a good one commander i needed this that's so sweet but if the citadel was real then the reapers would be real counterpoint but then so would shepherd and so would gareth <laughs> i would take that <laughs> i would take that deal uh, even th though I'm probably one of the billions to die on Earth, it's fine. <laughs> and Liara, see? See? Oh, wait, I should have looked at the map. All right. Diplomat. What a very intriguing name. Wait, didn't it say four? Isn't that? Oh, that's right here. Uh, are they over here somewhere? Is it this guy? Yes. No. Oh, hello. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth 
You're so welcome. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would have. Mm. Wait, why is he saying it's a secret? We should absolutely be having everyone help us. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. Oh, what a nice guy. I do kind of like the Volus. Look at how cute they are. Um, I think that's the only other person I have to talk to. No, Al Jelani. Good fucking lord. Wait, officer? Hmm. In purgatory? Okay. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. Hmm. I didn't realize I had to talk to someone here. You over here? No. Is it you? Is it you? No. Nope. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. You? No. You? No. Any of you? Nope. That's the guy's son we're trying to find. Seems like it probably ended well for him, yeah? Is it you? No. No. Uh, is it one of you? No. Any of you guys? No. No. It's not James. Hello? Oh, hello? The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Oh, their flag, yeah? Merry Christmas! Maybe I can help. The banner of the first regiment is waiting for you at Bay D twenty four. The banner of Commander Shepard. I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner for I'm happy to let a Turian buy me a drink. I need to calm down. They're just so cute. When we get back to Earth, I'm buying. Why can't you buy here? Papachu, hello. And also with you. <laughs> Are you also Lutheran? That's not how it goes. <laughs> Thank you for the bonk. I deserved it. Is there anywhere else that I need to go talk to someone? I don't think I found the thing for a preacher. All right, let's go talk to a preacher. I need to be blessed. Fapatu just blessed me, so kind of. That's the second half of a bless, but I don't even know what... Uh, don't even know what I was when I was something. That's nice. I have a bonk emote. Nice. You're technically ordained. No shit. I mean, shoot. Am I allowed to swear in front of the ordained? I can bless you. Hell yeah. Isn't that like technically you can get ordained like on the interwebs? I think that would be a cool thing. But I don't think I'd be good. You're forgive. Thank you. All right. Where's this priest? Is he going to give me bread and wine? Yikes. Universal Life Church of Modesto, California dot com or something. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, preacher. Hello. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kites. Oh, yours waiting in Bay D 24. I thought it was literally going to be someone like preaching. And I was like, I got you, sir. Uh. I'm still kind of poor. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I have kind. I have a bit of money. 
Well. Can I talk to Gare Bear? I want to talk to Gare Bear again. I don't think it will let me though. I'm gonna try. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. Oh, that's true, because they're Dexter and there's probably not a ton of that here. That's so sad. It's the ugliest ordained man. Hey, <laughs> don't be coming for this man. Batarian's like, I feel bad for them. Do you think it's like a thing for Batarians to wear wigs? Like if they're kind of like put into like normal society, like in the Mass Effect universe, like if they're like on the Citadel, even though, even though there aren't many like actual Batarians on the Citadel. Excuse me, wait, where the fuck was I going? I was gonna go somewhere. Oh, I was gonna go check to see if I had the stuff for this Canic person, so. They are kind of assholes. One moment, please. They kind of are. Uh, it's this way. I'm invested. Hmm, that's giving me weird vibes. They're the pick-me boys of the universe. And they're slavers, yeah. They did torture Hackett's crazy girlfriend. Oh, yeah, what's her name? Yeah, um, 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 why do... Her name's not Amanda, right? Why do I feel like it's Amanda? No, it was, um... The fuck was her name? Crazy bitch, yeah. Well, she wasn't a... Well, she kind of was a bitch, but... It wasn't Amanda. What was her name? Oh, it was Amanda Kenson. Oh my God, I'm. Oh. Any luck out there? Did I find it? Here, I've got some pieces <gasps> for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. We did find it, chat. Let's fucking go. Just a little, just a smidge indoctrinated. That's true. Just, just a little bit. It's a tiny little bit. And by a little bit, I mean kind of like a lot. Just a lot bit. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. You're welcome. My sons can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you. So is he like not gonna fuck with that anymore or Goose Shepherd is making progress. People don't respect alien artifacts enough. Apparently not. Like and clearly Shepherd doesn't either. Like that feels so weird to me that it's like, oh, here's an artifact for you. This like super special thing. It's like, uh shouldn't we like maybe give it to well, I mean, what's the point of a museum right now, to be fair? But also like I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, we just do kind of scoop them up. How do we find them? It's okay. There is also, like, bro ship. Which is why I'm against them ever making a Mass Effect movie if it had Shepard in it, because ain't no way would I be okay with them just suddenly being like, oh, it's a dude. And be like, no, my Shepard is a woman. Shepard stealing ancient artifacts and displaying them on her hobby store. I mean, yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do here. We're like, oh, hey. I mean, I kind of like, that's kind of what my shelf is, right? Look at all my shit. I mean, it's not shit. It's great. Well, how do I not have any fucking emails? These people don't love me enough. I'm not even getting spam. And here are my fishies, but I do have the automatic feeder, so they will not die. And I will, whenever I see my fish, I will still bring up the fact that I did not kill my fish a single time in Mass Effect 2. And I had my fish from the very beginning. Didn't kill him a single fucking time. Because I'm so good at feeding them. I'm such a good fish mom. I mean, 
I guess. Thank you for paying your taxes, Obert. They are immortal now, officially. All right, but I think that's where I'm gonna call it for today, chat. We did the thing. They're doing a movie? Well, I don't want them to. Unless Shepard is a woman. But even if they make Shepard a woman, that's alienizing the other half of the comp like, like of fans, you know? Paid your taxes already this week on Wednesday? Oh, well, oh, that was drink. Oh, sorry. Well, you paid your taxes and a drink, so I will do both. But yes, it was Kelly. It was always Kelly's fault, but we knew that already. I see what you did there, Immortal Fishes officially? Okay. My taxes are off stream. Well, but I mean, technically, yes, we, Obert got me a good, like a good roll of a paladin. Uh, yeah, a little, a nice little pally in uh, Destiny 2, so. Uh, I wish there was a way that Melee could detect that it was running through OBS and then send you a message to your email offering to help you get famous by purchasing Twitch followers. That would be a good update. That would be really good. Wait, what did I say? De I meant palindrome. I know I didn't say that, but what did I say? I, mean, I know I meant to say Pally, and I meant to say Palindrome, but I know that's not what I said. Yes, Papachu, thank you for ho hopping in. Oh, I said Paladin, sorry. <laughs> palindrome. I knew what I meant. Dude, I know that they want to have Henry Cavill be the lead, but like as long as it's not Shepard, though. Like, he can play whoever the fuck he wants as long as it's not Shepard. Because I'll be fucking pissed. Because Shepard is a woman, and you cannot tell me otherwise. English Ranger, by the way. <laughs> the, um, you said Papa John's? I would love some fucking Papa John's, let me tell you. But I have a sandwich. I'm having a sandwich for dinner. So anyway, I will see you guys later. I can't believe we had a Friday stream on a Friday. What is life? It's amazing. I assume that I will be live on Monday. So... I will see you Monday. And if I don't, then that fucking sucks. <laughs> yes, have an awesome weekend, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, I will keep you updated on any potential dates this weekend. Excite. So I hope you're alive on Monday. I also hope I'm alive on Monday. So thank you guys for hanging out. I will see you guys later. Have a good weekend. And um, yeah, goodbye. I'll just leave you with this image of the smiley face on my foot thing. Okay, goodbye, chat. <laughs>